Shalom everybody, this is Elder Josh Malara and this is Dr. Robert Gonzalez bringing you another terabyte. Uh, we like to say don't forget to hit the subscribe button, share this with a friend, share this with somebody who needs encouragement and Dr. Robert Gonzalez has something to share with you that will help encourage you with this terabyte. Wonderful. Josh knows how to completely do things so uh, in, in an attitude of submission, an attitude of total response and and humility and lowliness of heart that he fits all through the scripture of what the thread the the crimson thread that finds its stitching through every chapter and every character and i'm trying to draw him into a place where his character is flawless where his soul is so submitted that he's the very image and likeness of what the father said when he created i'm still striving and but he's young and quick in his mind and as long as you hear and see his motives and in intents watch him promote the kingdom and the terabyte a word of encouragement for you tonight in deuteronomy and we're going to go to Deuteron deuteronomy chapter 7 i want to turn i got my bible here but we were uh uh, just studying, and, and here in Jude, Deuteronomy, there's the seven nations, which you know about, but I don't want to go there. I want you to go with me to the, <laughs> hallelujah, to verse 7. And Yahuwah did not set his love upon you. And Yahuwah did not set his love upon you. Okay, you got to catch this now. He did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because you were more in numbers than any of the people, for you were the fewest of all people. Now go with me to Jeremiah 17. We're actually 16. I'm going to read you 16, 19. And what's interesting, the father's using the few, the father-son relationship, the ones that are submitted to true apostolic and prophetic ministry, the ones that recognize the hand, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. And I'm teaching, so I'm using the Greek English terminology versus the Hebrew. But if you follow us on the weekends during Sabbath, you will see that we have a broader uh, archives for you to choose from. Now in verse uh, 19, it says, Oh, yeah my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction. Now remember how he opens it. This is Jeremiah who's known as the weeping prophet. Why? He's weeping because he's standing in the gap to try to get the father's hand from destroying Israel, the Hebrew nation, the children of Yahuwah, because they're going about the wrong way. They have illicit sex by, you know, uh, building uh, monuments and idols and golden calves and all this because they want to worship instead of going back to the principles of how they got through the wilderness in the times of Moses and Joshua and the rest of the patriarchs. Now watch this verse. He says, In the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. The Gentiles. Why didn't he call them Israel? Why didn't he call them the Jewish nation, the Hebrew nation? Because in his sight, there's Gentiles because back in Exodus, in Sinai, he was speaking to the children that he set apart for marriage. Hmm. And you don't understand from then to where we're at right now in the 19th, uh, 16th chapter of Jeremiah, he's crying out, Father, have mercy on them, but why am I so full of anguish? Why is my pain so perpetual? Why am I thinking this way? And the father has to tell him, Jeremiah, get rid of those suspicious thoughts of me. There's something wrong with you and the children of Israel. I ask you to, and I command you to do something and you guys walk it out at your pace how you want to and you do what uh, you think is right in your own sight. So then he goes on, he says, look at from the ends of the earth and shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Sunday mornings, there's no profit to it because Sabbath is being refused from the father's people on this planet. 
We honor the Sabbath, do you? We honor the feast, do you? We restore and honor his name, do you? Well, this is why back in Deuteronomy he says, hey, listen, I chosen you because you were the fewest that would walk in obedience and upright before me. Now let's go on. Verse 20, shall a man make gods unto himself? Oh, wait a minute, there's that verse. I didn't know and I used to quote it. If we're not careful, we'll, begun, we'll become gods unto our, ourselves. And here he is. So shall a man make gods unto himself and they are no gods? <laughs> uh, have you ever thought yourself as being like God and yet you're not? And look at the next verse. Therefore, behold, I will, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know my hand and my might. And they shall know my name. And they shall know that my name is Yahuwah. Yahuwah. Okay? Yahuwah. Now listen closely. Yahuwah. There's not the many, but it's to the few that the Father has revealed His name to. Are you one of those that are restoring His name? Because right here's the verse. He's going to give you strength. He's going to lead you by the hand, but He's also going to reveal His name to you. And you shall know that His name is Yahshua. Tonight's terabyte, Yahshua. Tonight's terabyte, Yahshua. Tonight's terabyte, Yahshua. That's the Son, but Yahuwah is the Father. Whenever you're in a tight spot, call on the Father's name. But when you're in a place where you need uh, repentance or being restored, refreshed, or redeemed, call on Yahshua. 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 That's your terabyte for the night. Don't forget, this is Dr. Robert Gonzalez again saying, Thank you for tuning in and share this with a friend. Let them know there's a word of encouragement for us every night or every morning, depending at noon, in the morning, late, one way or the other. Your East Coast, West Coast, or any coast. But we're here to bring a word of encouragement to you. Till we meet again, Shabbat Shalom. Good night.